what we always say is we're about a generation behind. Because if you look at where we are today and compare that to where Indian country was, that's 30 years ago. So we're, we're, we're behind the rest of the country. A honey bucket is a five gallon pail that is used as a toilet, sometimes with a toilet seat, sometimes without, to dispose of human waste and it's located in the home. And then that five gallon pail is emptied into a bin that's located on the boardwalk or, or roadway in the community, which is then hauled to a lagoon. Sometimes residents use plastic bags in the honey bucket so they can more easily remove the waste and those bags build up in the lagoon and need to be disposed of landfilled. What's really disturbing is to see children playing on the boardwalk right around these honey bucket bins or even on the bins and to see the waste on the boardwalk and dogs and children and people walking through it that, that all gets tracked into the homes, the schools. It's, it's horrible to have that level of exposure. As a lifestyle, it was very difficult um, because they spent a lot of time being sick and a lot of time hauling water. It takes about three or four trips per day when she does laundry. It's a lot of work trying to keep clean. <laughs> They said it was just, it was enormous, the, the uh, amount of work that could get done after they were connected to water and sewer because they weren't hauling water every day, they weren't hauling sewer every day, they weren't dealing with the smell every day. Um, and so it just, it makes an enormous difference, not only in the healthcare, which is what we care about, honestly, but also in just the quality of life, the general quality of life in, in those rural Alaska communities.